Hello and welcome to another video in my DCS series. As a new flyer, as a beginner to the whole world of DCS, you may know I've been jumping in with Dog, who's been giving me some tuition and flight training in the MB339. And in today's continuation, well, what are we doing today? We are going to be practicing still takeoff and landing, coming in for final approach, and we're also going to be learning on how to use the radios and talk to ATC, which, believe you me, puts on a whole other layer of pressure when you're trying to check the gauges, check the height, check your vertical speed indicator, getting in the right line, and then having to use the columns as well is a little bit, well, it adds a little bit of pressure. But that's what Dog's doing. He's going to make sure that there's a challenge for me on part of this course. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. A massive salute to him and to DCS. Let's get our ass in the seat and let's continue with our lesson here. Yep, absolutely. You don't, you're not going to get a read back from air traffic control because they're asleep today, so you're just going to get moving. And all you're doing now is you follow the intentions that you said you were going to do. If you need to change your intentions, you need to update and provide new intentions. So, take off plan today. Uh, we're going to rotate much the same as last time, about 130 knots or so. We're going to join the taxiway now onto the yep by following the yellow line in the middle. Uh, there we go, there's Bravo there, yep, so turn right, turn right onto Bravo. It's a slightly shorter runway this time, you remember? Oh, hang on a minute, that's his alpha. Oh, I, thought, I, I was looking at this, but there was an arrow that pointed right that said Bravo on it. Yeah, as in take the next right. Damn it. <laughs> it's okay. Tell you what we'll do. Uh, we will. Uh, We'll just offer a correction to between maybe we should be able to take off like this. No, no, actually no, we'll, we'll, we'll go around we'll then, that's fine. So just circle around, that's it. And take the next sprite. Yeah, it looked like Bravo, like it, like it looked like Bravo was pointing that way. <laughs> that runway, that, that runway sign, that should say Alpha. The next one up ahead should be Bravo. That is a misprint on their end. Ah, you mean I got away with it? <laughs> you are forgiven. We can yell at WAGS and write a strongly worded letter at them later. Alright, so you see the yellow, black and white lines here? This is the whole short point. And we're just blowing right through it. Uh, I didn't see them, sorry. No problem. Just hold short when you can. Uh, we're just going to go into the external view, uh, just so you can see what they look like since you've gone past them. So if you zoom out just a little bit and go behind you, uh, you'll see uh, a set of red lights either side of the taxiway where the signs start. Yep, seen them. That's that stop. And you'll see a black and white line, uh, a black and yellow set of lights. Yeah, the red lights. I should have stopped at the red light. Absolutely. The highway crossing code, though, uh, we're fine on that front. We've stopped before we've entered the runway. So, you know the green cross code, I'm sure you were taught it as a kid. You look left, you look right before crossing the street. So we're looking to the left for anything landing. Uh, we're good. We look to the right to make sure nothing's taken off or landing as well. We're good. And we tell uh, between the traffic we're, t we're joining the active runway, because this is the runway that is in use, it is active. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. To me, ATC, dimming actual. Moving on to runway. Oh, three, one. Oh, God, I've forgotten the runway again. You got it. Don't doubt yourself. You did fine. Traffic, dimming actual. Joining the active runway. To me, traffic. So you don't have to give the, the actual runway number. You can. Uh, both options are acceptable. In much the same way as saying hello and hi. Still results in the greeting. So it would be Batumi, Batumi traffic, demon actual moving to not take off. What is it again? Batumi traffic, demon actual. 
No, forgotten it. The problem, it's not a script, it's just what you're going to do. Timmy traffic, Demon Actual, joining runway 31, the Timmy traffic. Batumi traffic, Demon Actual moving on to runway 314 takeoff. Batumi. Excellent. Just go ahead and do it then. Phew! You're still just keeping an eye out in case something just decides to gank you and land on top of you. Remember, we're going to be joining the Hoggett server one day where people don't have SRS. We need to just watch out for everyone else and give them their space. <laughs> yeah, it's like pressure to get the comms right. Zero pressure, mate. The only pressure here is whatever pressure you bring into the cockpit. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me just to take off? If, I'm ha if you're happy, I'm happy. Gears up, flaps up. Sweet. Right, climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Fly straight ahead, and uh, we're just going to get ourselves comfortable and then established. Any way for me to get rid of the uh, envelope symbol I've got on the screen? Uh, yeah, just uh, press tab and press tab again. It's just basically letting you know, hey, you've got new messages. I'm trimming it. Yeah, you're going to be finding yourself pushing it pretty hard. You're probably bringing the nose down a little bit because when it's a light aircraft, it likes to sail. Yeah, you're going to be pushing it pretty hard. Just make sure that you're keeping the nose down. It's allowed. I've got the trim on the hat switch. It seems to be really sensitive. No, 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 it's fine. Good. Cool. Right, we're going to be maintaining about 
So just for reference, um, looking at the map, uh, we are currently about 50 miles away from Batumi. By this stage of most situations, we would already be in contact with Batumi traffic or Batumi air traffic control if there was an actual controller. And we'd be letting them know our intention. We need to tell them not only what we do, but that now we're so far away from the airfield, we don't reasonably expect people to actually find us. Just go ahead and level off there, we're going to have the two main just on our right wing there. See the valley, see the valley on, the, on the right there? Yep. Two o'clock, that's where Batumi is, never the uh, large mouth of the river. So yeah, what we want to do to add to this is, we don't reasonably expect the guys at Batumi if you're to spot a target 15 miles away, not in DCS anyway. So, what, we're gonna, what we would say is we would want to tell them where we are, roughly. It doesn't have to be like bearings, okay? So we can say like, for example, we are west of Batumi. That is really enough to be fine for this. Say we're about 10 months, so we would say uh, Batumi traffic, demon actual inbound 10, uh, 10 miles from the west uh, in Tecto Land, Batumi traffic. ATC at Tumi traffic, demon actual 10 clicks out east approaching runway 310. Batumi. Oh, man, just remember, um, we're fighter pilots and we are impact, we're Imperial British people, so we don't deal in clicks in the air. They're watching too many, too many war films. <laughs> clicks would be on the ground. That is if you're, uh, your, your, your boots on the ground, they work in kilometres. If you're Russian, you deal in kilometres. If you're, if you're a filthy imperialistic capitalist pig, then you deal with your nautical miles and feet. Um, Atumi, Atumi traffic, demon actual approaching, um, approaching traffic from the west, three miles out, Atumi. Yes, you're about four and about miles, so that's fine enough for the way, for, for uh, just eyeballing it, good job. I was trying to find it, I was trying to think of the words, you know, like when you're going into the, the pattern uh, and you're approaching it. Well, you could say entering the pattern, but we're not, uh, we're not doing that either, not at 5,000 feet. So what you, did, what you said was more fine. Like I said earlier, if you don't know what words to say, find that out for the next time. For now, just use plain English. It's not a hard one. Yeah, okay. What matters more is that you're clear and understood, not that you sound cool. You get to sound cool after a bit of practice. This is more to get you comfortable with the idea of talking to him, talking on the radio and keying up the mic and saying something. But saying something productive, of course. Are we, are we just around, flying straight past or are we going to land? Down to 2,000 feet, so that's good. That's the pattern altitude. So just continue that descent through to 2,000 feet. We want to start maybe making a left-hand turn now because we don't want to be in the valley at 2,000 feet. Let's see how much you remember about uh, positions around the airfield. So now we're, we're, we're close enough to the airfield where we can start talking about where we are uh, in terms of the, the four major positions. So where are we right now? Are we, are we downwind, upwind, crosswind, base? Uh, we are downwind. No, we are up. We, we are on base. And we're going to maintain 2,000 feet. We're going to stay in the pattern. We're going to do a lap around the airfield, then we'll, then we'll join. In real life, yeah, what you did was fine. You'd be able to make straight in if you wanted to. But uh, we're just doing this more for training than anything else. Do you want me to move back up to 2000? Yes, please. So, yes, um, the four major positions are upwind, and that is from about here, because you're at the airfield, and you're travelling up the wind, because remember the wind is, would ideally be pushing towards us. So it's just like you're travelling upstream, you're travelling upwind. Then we need to pull the old Ghostbusters and cross the stream, so we are crosswind. Next turn, left, here we go, and it's a 90 degree turn. Now, 
just gone upwind, they done crosswind, we are now. Downwind. Now we're downwind. We're heading downhill towards the airfield. So, so on the downwind is when you do your setup. This is where you get your flaps, gear, all that good stuff out. And you make sure you're slow enough to do it because we're pushing 250 knots right. But uh, we're going to maintain this airspeed at 250 knots full we'll start. We'll get, we'll get ourselves configured for landing on the next pass. Now after the downwind, we're wanting to land. So that would put us on base turn because we're turning towards base, home base. So would we now say um, to me deem an actual on final approach to runway 3-1? Brilliant, have you got the gear and uh, flaps out? Just putting the gears down now, flaps are down. Stellar. So this isn't a, this isn't a full stop landing, this will be a touch and go. So I'll let you focus on the uh, on the landing, and I'll just do an announcement for you. The Tumi traffic, the actual touch and go when we three one finals to land. Tumi traffic. Keep going. Oh, melt it. And we have to get back up to touch. We're going to have to get back up to uh, take off speed. Put the flaps to half if you've got the time. Yep, they're at half. Uh, rotate. Keep that rotation, keep the nose up. And gear up. Gears up, flaps are up. <laughs> okay. You don't have to go all the way out. Just take a left turn or just join the crosswind right now. I can see you've been working on the plat on those landings. That felt good. Nice and smooth, not too hard on the run, babe. That was good. So yeah, that's it. Nice and extended out on that crosswind. Give yourself plenty of time. And there you go. Level off at 2,000 feet and start configuring the jet again. Flaps down. Slow the aircraft down. We're pushing 300 knots now, so keep the flaps in for the moment actually. Don't overspeed them. Use your speed brake if you have to. Alright, the next your intentions, your radio. 
Batumi Demon Actual on final approach to runway 31. Touch and go, Batumi. Like a boss. Rocked it, brother. Boom. Landing gear down. Yep, that's it. Just offset slightly to the right and get your lighter back on. And now you can light back up. Whoa, 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 that, sorry, that was because I uh, I have to take my headset off to the side to see the G key. <laughs> Voice attack won't lift it for some reason. Okay. If you've got a spare button at like the base of your stick or something like that, maybe bite that and then you get five seconds. Yeah, I'll have to reset it. If you've got spare buttons, you make them work. But if you don't have spare buttons, then just be mindful of where it is. Be prepared when you're on the landing. Alright. Go ahead and turn left on the crosswind, let's give that another run. Alright, this time, let's uh, win your setup for the downwind, announce your position and intentions from there, and then again, announce your intentions to land for a touch and go on uh, 3 one one shot base to final. Uh, if I can remember it. Um, to me, this is Demon Actual on the downwind leg approaching. No, that's wrong. I had it. Downwind for runway 31. Patumi traffic, this is Demon Actual on the downwind for runway 31, Patumi. To me, this is Demon Actual on final approach to runway 31. Are we touch and go? Uh, this will be the last touch and go, after that it'll be finals to land. Okay, damp out those uh, oscillations, let the, let the aircraft settle, there we go. You're slightly off to the right, so let's uh, adjust left slightly. And then just let the line up come to you, there we go. One of the nice things about VR is you can definitely see the, uh, these kind of things much better. Uh, Flaps up, gears up. Flaps up, gear travels, great. 